revisit the bullets here to some extent. Basically, since I did my first series on the proper types of bullets for game, so forth, we've had we've had a few advancements in bullets, the actual shape of the bullet, the calibers, the weights, and one thing or another, the design of the bullets. The design is what makes it is what makes a, a game bullet. A bullet's got to be a tough bullet to be a game bullet. In our early years of center fire rifles with jacketed bullets, we simply had thin jacketed bullets. And this is still kind of being brought forward by the highly inexperienced folks out here, especially if they see a high ballistics coefficient on the bullet. Well, I can tell you for absolute certainty. A high ballistic coefficient does not mean that the bullet is suited for any type of game. It only means that it's going to fly just a little bit better. If it's not constructed properly to do the job, you don't use it. It's a thin jacketed bullet. In fact, is in a lot of instances, these bullets are just nothing but a target bullet with a little different shape, maybe a tiny hollow point, maybe a plastic tip, but there's no integrity to the bullet. It's a simple cup and draw jacket with a lead core that's formed into shape and gives you the ballistics coefficient. They're undesirable. I don't use them. I don't recommend them. And you shouldn't be using them. But we continue to see folks that buy into some of this hype. And I don't buy into any of the hype because I'm an experienced game, game hunter. I know what works. I think that right now we've got probably one of the very finest longer range game bullets that's ever, that's ever been designed. This bullet is the Federal TLR Edge. This bullet has, you know, a bonded core. The bullet has a solid, fairly solid base cross section that can never blow up. Thin jack the bullets blow up, this bullet can't blow up. And it's constructed in such a way and has a plastic tip to initiate expansion at some of the longer distances. And I don't advocate anybody shooting out here at these extreme long ranges. It's nothing short of ridiculous and disrespectful of our game. And I won't vary from that whatsoever. There is not one person out of ten the first time. 11, 12, 13, 14, 1500 yards, they can kill an elk or any other animal with the first shot. It's not happening, folks. And I know that it's not happening. I know by first hand experience, I know from the knowledge that I've gained in years and years of hunting, this bullet is a very, very good bullet. But this bullet just didn't really start and wasn't really totally conceived by Federal. I'm going to tell you how this bullet really originated. There's probably nobody out here that's going to tell the truth, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Our famous gunsmith, P.O. Ackley, he designed a bullet many, many years ago that was very much the same bullet, without a boat tail, without a plastic tip, had a lead tip, had a small lead core, I have some of those bullets. Somebody made these bullets for for, for, for P.O. Ackley years and years ago. And I have I have eight or ten of those bullets, 25 caliber bullets in a box. They were available in a considerable number of, of calibers. And what I'm telling you here is the basic idea originated right there. Ackley knew, but it took 60 years took 60 plus years for Federal to come up with this bullet. They, they have a very well designed bullet, a very well made bullet. The bullets that I have used have been very accurate and they perform just exactly how they should. And so if you want a high ballistics coefficient bullet, 
use that bullet. It's available in, in, in different calibers and different weights. And don't stretch the limit. There's such a thing as stretching the limit on what, what can be done. And I know that this, this aspect of this extreme long range shooting is driven by ego and disrespect. And I don't, uh, I don't go along with it. I, I feel that the average person, the average person has no business shooting probably past 300 yards. A very well experienced person that has shot and knows his rifle and whatnot on the best of days can connect very, very well if he pays attention at five and 600 yards. But if you stretch that to 1,200 yards, that's just nothing short of ridiculous. And we're probably never gonna, gonna get away from this. We've got these people that, you know, it's just like a fast car, you know. Corvettes were known to be fast and so forth. And in other, other automobiles. But the aspect of this long, long range situation is, is that the energy has gotten down so low that it doesn't deliver, deliver the thump that's needed with a lot of bullets to do the job at this long range. And pay attention. We've got guys that are trying to, you know, push that limit that are actually shooting at game with cartridges that are only delivering about 500 foot-pounds energy out there at 12, 1300 yards and so forth. Well, it's been stated many, many times. Well, well, early in my first years of hunting, that 1800, 1800 foot pounds should be considered a minimum amount of striking energy to be able to really reliably take game. But all these other things that I talk about constantly about bullet construction apply, as well as all the conditions. And every other aspect, wind. We can we can talk about all these aspects until we're blue in the face. But the fact of the matter is, you you're you're not a hunter. You're never going to be a hunter. If that's what your idea is, is is target practicing on our beautiful majestic wildlife with total disrespect for. 